Emerging science has shown a significant link between Alzheimer's and cardiovascular disease. While cardiovascular disease is the number one killer of men and women worldwide, Alzheimer's disease has become the number one fear of the baby boomer generation. Why? For two specific reasons. First, we've had to care for loved ones who have slowly lost their mental clarity. And in our care for them, we have directly experienced the emotional, financial, social, and physical costs this disease has had in fragmenting loving relationships. Second, we don't want to personally experience the loss of cognitive function and become a burden to our family. The other sad reality is that there currently is no known cure for Alzheimer's. Once you have it, it's a progressively disabling disease that will result in death. Pretty depressing until you understand the following. The cure lies in prevention. That's right, you have the power to make a significant difference in how this disease affects you as well as the people around you. There is enough research and clinical data to positively demonstrate that if you properly care for your cardiovascular system, you will substantially reduce your risk for Alzheimer's and many other diseases. While we can't promise that if you follow the plan of action we're going to outline in this presentation, you will be free of this dreaded disease, we do believe we can help you substantially reduce your risk. Not only can you lower your risk, but you can also empower others to lower theirs. According to the National Institute on Aging, about 5 million Americans have Alzheimer's disease. It's the most common cause of dementia amongst older adults. Dementia is the loss of cognitive functioning, which includes thinking, remembering, and reasoning to the extent that it interferes with your daily life and activities. Now we want you to consider the following statement from the National Institute on Aging, quote, Although we still don't know what starts the Alzheimer's disease process, we do know that damage to the brain begins as many as 10 to 20 years before any problems are evident, end of quote. It's for this very reason why prevention is so critical to your future cognitive health, and the health of your cardiovascular system is one of the keys to prevention. According to the Harvard School of Medicine, quote, growing evidence supports a strong and likely casual association between cardiovascular disease and its risk factors with incidence of cognitive decline and Alzheimer's disease. Individuals with subclinical cardiovascular disease are at a higher risk for dementia and Alzheimer's. Several cardiovascular risk factors are also risk factors for dementia, including hypertension, high LDL cholesterol, low HDL cholesterol, and especially diabetes. The substantial overlap in risk factors points to new avenues for research and prevention. End of quote. In your skull is a three-pound wonder that has 100 billion neurons sending each other electrical and chemical signals in an orchestrated pattern that creates memories and allows for learning. At about the age of 30, our brains begin to shrink by about a half a percent per year. We usually don't notice this change for years, but over time this shrinkage, combined with other factors, begins to weaken the signals inside our brain. This leads to memory loss, which is normal for most people as they age. What is not normal is for this orchestrated electrical and chemical signaling pattern to become so dysfunctional that it leads to dementia diseases like Alzheimer's. Each nerve cell communicates with many other neurons to form networks. These networks of neurons have special jobs. Some help us to see, hear, smell, move, and breathe. Other networks are involved in thinking, learning, and remembering. Every network of neurons is like a tiny factory that needs resources, generates energy, performs a function, and eliminates waste. To keep everything running in a coordinated operation requires large amounts of nutrients and oxygen. Of these four basic components, resources, energy, function, and waste, your cardiovascular system is critical to three of the four components. It's your cardiovascular system that will deliver the needed resources for brain function. Those resources, like oxygen and glucose, are going to provide the energy your brain needs to function. And the waste products created by your brain's energy production must be carried away by the circulatory system. If your circulation is compromised, then you will compromise brain function. They go hand in hand. It's also important to note 
that with the need for a large amount of oxygen there is a tremendous potential for the production of free radicals. Free radicals are not the hippies from the 60s with peace signs on their Berkeley t-shirts. Free radicals are a byproduct of aerobic respiration, energy production when oxygen is present. These free radicals are very unstable molecules and will steal electrons from other molecules to stabilize themselves. Without a good supply of antioxidants, these free radicals will steal the electrons from living tissue which over time can damage the tissue resulting in cell mutation, dysfunction, and or death. Antioxidants are molecules that freely give away their outer electrons and the neat thing about this process is that they're able to remain stable molecules. If a person's diet is lacking in antioxidants, then the protective role they play in preventing free radical damage is compromised. Vegetables, especially deeply colored vegetables, contain high concentrations of powerful antioxidants and have been shown to substantially reduce the potential for any type of dementia. Although there is no known cure for Alzheimer's, there is a growing body of work showing that you can take steps to prevent this disease. While we don't have the time to look at all the information, we do want to point out several key pieces. Let's start with folate or vitamin B9. Vitamin B9 is also called folic acid. It's essential for the creation of new cells in the body. Most people, especially women, associate folic acid with pregnancy to help ensure that the developing child will not experience certain brain and spinal cord defects. Right there is a huge clue. If folic acid is important for brain and nervous system development for an infant, why do we not recognize it as an important nutrient needed to continue to help the brain and nervous system operate properly as we age? To help highlight this powerful need for folic acid, we'd like to present the work of Dr. David Snowden from the University of Minnesota. In 1986, Dr. Snowden began his study with a group of nuns called the School Sisters of Notre Dame. This has now become a landmark study, commonly referred to as the Nun Study. One of the interesting findings was that nuns with high folic acid levels manifested hardly any Alzheimer's type damage to their brains. Dr. Snowden's explanation centers on folic acid acting as a check against the amino acid homocysteine which has been implicated in cardiovascular disease. Higher levels of folate in the blood seem to offer protection against stroke and might even protect brain cells from damage. Additionally, Dr. David S. Geldmacher made the following statement in the October 2010 issue of the Cleveland Clinic Journal of Medicine, quote, diabetes, hypertension, dyslipidemia, and obesity might lead to dementia in a process abetted by oxidative stress, endothelial cell dysfunction, insulin resistance, inflammation, adiposity, and subcortical vascular disease. All of these could be targets of intervention to prevent and treat dementia." End of quote. We've highlighted oxidative stress, endothelial cell dysfunction, and subcortical vascular disease. All three of these directly affect the most important organ of your entire cardiovascular system. That organ is your endothelium. In 1998, the Nobel Prize in Medicine was awarded to three American researchers who discovered how your endothelium produces a gas called nitric oxide from the amino acid L-arginine. Most people have never heard of this research or this organ, yet both have the potential to substantially reduce, some would even say eliminate, cardiovascular disease and by association substantially reduce the risk for Alzheimer's disease. The endothelium is the largest secreting organ in your body, yet it's only one cell thick. It lines the inside of your heart. The inside of all your arteries and arterioles, veins and venials are lined by this organ. Your capillaries are just extensions of the endothelium. Research over the last 10 years has clearly shown the endothelium to be a multifunctional organ involved in metabolic, immunologic, and cardiovascular health. One of those functions is to convert the amino acid L-arginine into nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is the master signaling molecule of your entire cardiovascular system. You could not live without nitric oxide. It keeps blood platelet cells from sticking together to help prevent strokes and heart attacks. It's also the body's most powerful vasodilator, so it's critical in the regulation of your blood pressure. 
and nitric oxide helps keep the endothelium healthy and repaired. Your overall health truly centers on the health of your endothelium. To highlight this, we've placed Dr. Geldmacher's statement back on the screen. Diabetes damages the endothelium. High blood sugar causes oxidative stress to the endothelium. Hypertension or high blood pressure damages the endothelium. Dyslipidemia causes damage to the endothelium. Almost every one of the concerns pointed out by Dr. Geldmacher either directly or indirectly causes damage to the endothelium, reducing your body's ability to properly produce nitric oxide. So let's start pulling all this information together into a simple plan of action. The first step centers on repairing and nourishing your endothelial cells to improve their ability to properly produce nitric oxide. As we've already discussed, diabetes, high blood pressure, and high cholesterol levels all directly damage your endothelium. It's this cumulative damage over time that results in most cardiovascular diseases and is strongly associated with the development of Alzheimer's disease. Thus, your highest priority is to repair and nourish this organ to improve its ability to properly produce nitric oxide. To properly implement this first step, you must consume two amino acids on a daily basis. The first amino acid is L-arginine. It's considered a semi-essential amino acid. This means that your body cannot produce enough of it by itself for optimal health. Thus you need to get L-arginine from the foods you consume or from supplementation. Most research indicates that for you to receive a therapeutic benefit from L-arginine, you need to consume at least 5 grams of this amino acid at one time. The other amino acid is L-citrulline. L-citrulline recycles L-arginine to turbocharge your endothelium's ability to produce therapeutic levels of nitric oxide over an extended period of time. There's not much of a choice in foods for this amino acid. Watermelon is your one and only good food choice. Unfortunately, 60% of the L-citrulline is contained in the rind portion, which most people never eat. In addition to getting the proper amount of L-arginine and L-citrulline, you also need to make sure you consume at least 400 micrograms of folic acid on a daily basis. Proper levels of folic acid can reduce the potential for developing Alzheimer's disease by 40 to 50 percent. Step three is to consume green vegetables to increase your daily intake of powerful antioxidants to help fight free radical damage you need to go green for improved brain health. Every study that incorporates green vegetables into a person's diet clearly shows an improvement in cognitive function. Green and darkly colored vegetables are a critical component to help you prevent Alzheimer's disease and improve your overall health. Given this need for L-arginine, L-citrulline, folic acid, and powerful antioxidants, to help nourish and protect the endothelium and improve its ability to properly produce nitric oxide, we searched for a nutritional supplement that would help make it easier for people to adopt this preventative strategy. After much research and study, we've determined that the best nitric oxide supplement in the marketplace is ProArginine Plus distributed by Synergy Worldwide and manufactured here in the United States by Nature's Sunshine Products. ProArginine Plus contains both L-arginine and L-citrulline at the needed levels to turbocharge your endothelium's ability to produce nitric oxide over an extended period of time. Additionally, ProArginine Plus also includes the following ingredients. These ingredients provide you with the needed amount of folic acid and other powerful antioxidants to help protect the endothelium and the nitric oxide it creates. Additionally, a total of 262 tests are conducted along the various stages of manufacturing to ensure the highest quality and potency of the ingredients used. We believe Prorogen Plus can nourish your endothelial cells to help you properly produce nitric oxide, the master signaling molecule of your entire cardiovascular system, and the most powerful vasodilator for helping you improve your cardiovascular health, which can substantially reduce your risks for Alzheimer's disease. This leaves us with a final question. Would you like to take the 90-day health challenge to see if Prorogenine Plus can aid you and your family members in reducing the risk for Alzheimer's disease by improving your cardiovascular health? If your answer is yes, 
then please contact us directly at the Synergy Co-op. Our mission is to save millions of lives from the number one killer of men and women worldwide, which is cardiovascular disease. We'll work with you to help you properly nourish your endothelium for improved nitric oxide production, leading to improved cardiovascular health. There is enough research and clinical data to positively demonstrate that if you properly care for your cardiovascular system, you will substantially reduce your risk for Alzheimer's and many other diseases. Please call us today using our toll-free number, 888-888.